Hello, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we are going to unbox and set up this Boston gaming chair that I got from Amazon. So, it looks like that is going to be the name up. Where's this screwdriver? We're going to do this the professional way. Cut that right open with a flathead screwdriver. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some of that fabric. Let's see how. Oh, look at that. It's good. Name tag. Look at that. So, I don't know if I'm going to put this thing together on, on, the, uh, on the unboxing, but we're definitely going to do this as one-handed as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here. Screwdriver, screwdriver blade. This looks like. This looks like a. Ooh, under the casing. Got levers. All right. I hand the bags. Okay, so this, was that really on that? Yeah. That's weird. All right, so we got part one. I'm gonna hand you all the uh, wrapping stuff. We got the star. Looks like one of these legs come off. Okay, so let's look at this material for a minute. Like it feels pretty sturdy. And it looks like that there will just kind of slot in there. All right, looks like you're going to have to. Yeah, there you go. All right, so it fold locks into place. Here, hold this. All right, we're just going to step on it. I don't have my rubber mallet. Okay. Looks like it does fold flat. It looks like it fits. This does feel pretty firm. Let's see. Definitely aren't gonna need. Ooh, a cushion. Oh, look at that. It's even got it's got bra strap. You have it upside down. Oop. Gotta put my bra on, right? It's got a zipper on the back, so you can use it as a fanny pack or a <laughs> or a chest extender. That'll make you look kind of buff. You wear that under your shirt, of course. Don't do it on the outside; people will know. All right, we got a box. Uh, more stuff. Now, in case you're wondering, this screwdriver is a Milwaukee, and it has different bits, so. Nine times out of ten, it's got the one you need. Look at that hardware. Did it come out like this or something? Yeah. We've got some quills. Those will make us fast. And then we got the thing that's supposed to hold it. That was still, still, still. Frog's just throwing stuff. And I have oh look at that look at that thick look at that. quarter inch thick nice nice formed steel let's see plastic bag to make sure so I'm thinking Yes, I, I will try to do this without, or I won't try to do this without using the, oh, look at that. There you go. So yeah, that obviously, clearly, clearly goes in like this. Kind of has to. Boom. So, while we're down here, go ahead and put these on. Clearly, the design of this thing is pretty much we 
we're going to find out if this Amazon gaming chair is worth your hard-earned money. Where did all the rest of my cups go? I lost all my cups, sir. Are you serious? How the heck did the freaking pop them stay on and all the rest of them fall off? Really? Well, right there, you already got one issue. Okay, so this has got... Uh, rolls pretty decently. So... <clears throat> Clearly, this chair is all compression. No mounts for any of that stuff, it appears. We'll get to the instructions eventually. If they wanted us to have them by now, they would have gave them to us. I feel like they would have given them to us with the uh, the other bag of hardware. So these are your armrests. They look like they will fall right off pretty quickly. Two screws. There's two of them, in case you were wondering. Oh, okay. The back of the chair. That looks really, really leathery, but it feels like plastic leather. This chair is clearly designed for for people with big booties, so it should be good for me. It is a big booty chair. Stop now. Huh? Stop. Yeah, go ahead. And... Okay, and now we're getting out the recliner part. This is the recliner. This feels this feels extremely cheap. Like this this feels like it'll break easy. I don't I don't recommend putting a lot of weight on that. I mean these might I mean these these do appear to be No, nope, they're not. They're hollow. This one here is just capped. So these are hollow tube steel. This this does feel extremely cheap to me. What is this? Ooh, it's just another little pillow. With a strap. Okay, so these right here, this bungee thing, this feels, this, this is not going to last a very long time. That is not going to last. I'm sorry, but that is, that pillow that goes, up. yeah, that thing's going to, this is going to wear out really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and look at the destructions that we did actually get with this. Going to go ahead and move some of that. Now we're going to get rid of this box. Here you go, Junior. Go give it to the guy out back. That lives. No. <laughs> actually, Junior, pick up all these trashes and put it in the box. All right, so we've got destructions. I put all of that stuff together first one I probably should have not stuck that into that but this that's exactly what it's showing you to do <laughs> oh I see Idiot. oh I see so AA 
HA. So yeah, I was supposed to put that, supposed to attach that to the bottom of the chair first. Let's see if we can get it off. That goes, no way. They got like holes all lined up and everything for you. What? No freaking way. Let's see. Oh, you're supposed to put that on there first with G? Okay, so this goes on. Just slide it right into these things right here. And then with G, two rubber rings. Really? Well, it looks like the rings are just going to go so you got two rubber rings that appear to go on here <laughs> are those really the stoppers for that that's so disappointing so. <laughs> yeah you got two rubber rings to keep it from from popping out, but it looks like I put it on upside down. So they will go in like this, get them out, take your O-ring, flop it on the little groove. Just like that. This thing sucks. I'm sorry. That feels so cheap and frivolous. But when you pull it out, it should should flip all the way around, and then you'll have your little footrest. Okay, I don't know if I like that. And then your leathers are like right on that. Okay, so H A F H A F. I like this. I like how it's long on both sides. That is actually pretty freaking cool. Whoever thought of that is a genius. So that will give you more actual torque when you're putting these down. You quit it. You watch your little mouth. Now I do recommend putting all four in, getting them started first before tightening any of them down. That's probably just common sense. And then finger tighten them, the ones that you can reach down with your fingers. Okay, so. I would just center it. I'm going to center mine with the, at the back. Now you don't want to over tighten these. Just just snug. Just snug. Really snug. I mean, like fairly snug, but. Cause you never know what the threads are gonna look like.
All right, and then the next part after this is going to be the back of the chair. Oh, I see. All right, well, after you get that done, you can probably carry it with these because they're probably not gonna matter anyways. As you can see, these things right here don't freaking work. They're just trash. But you'll want it on there to cover your chair. I'm pretty hard on this chair, ain't I? It's because these things are like 150 bucks. And if you're gonna pay $150, but I'll tell you what. Yeah, it spins good. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so now that we are halfway through, we're going to lift the back of our chair. I'm going to pull this up. We're going to look for, these screws should probably be a little bit shorter, so this should be a B, just a B. No, no, uh, no washer, no washer for B. Ugh. <clears throat> okay, so B gets no washer. Where's B? But these all do have, they all do have a little bit of lock. No, no, not these ones. The other ones have lock tie. Front. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a little bit weird. Doesn't even. Wait, no. So it's saying F. What one is F? It's saying F and D. Oh, B is for the F and D. B is for the bottom. D. I believe the washers were F. All right, let me look at this again. For easy assembly, please put all four screws. Oh, duh. Huh. I already told everybody that. Okay, so the top is going to be F and D, but that says front. What the what? what? Why would they put front on there? That that doesn't make any sense. Let me let me see the back of this. Okay, so the bottom holes are threaded. Bottom holes are threaded, so you're gonna so this is so this is this does mean front. That goes to the front. So you're gonna take your your washers and you're gonna you're gonna line these up. You're gonna stick them in there. You're gonna tighten them down just a wee little bit. Now I know it's gonna feel weird because it's not sitting on the back of your chair flat, but but trust me because you're gonna want because your uh, your other screws are gonna go through there to the to the other side, and they are going to be. Um, they're, they're threaded in there, so, and those are the, the, the B. So they're about a quarter inch thread pattern. Let's see if these threads are good though. Okay, it feels like the threads are at least good on that one. We'll check all the threads first, just to make sure, because we don't want to be holding this heavy chair up there, trying to thread something in there if it's not going to work. That thread's starting. That one starts, starts, feels a little bit loose though, but it feels all right. Once you get it tightened down, it should be all right. Now, it does appear like they give you enough room behind here though, to where if you really, really want to, you might be able to go ahead and get a, get a nut, you know, just go get some, 
because they, they feel like they're standard. They might be metric, but... I would tighten these here in the star pattern. Go from the top, on the other side, to the other side, and then back. Don't over tighten them. They'll probably just pop out of the hole. <laughs> Okay, please note side of back iron which is labeled front is facing outward, not labeled as facing inward. Okay, wait, please note the side of the back iron which is labeled front is facing outward. Really? Maybe I did put it on wrong. Saying outward. That's so dumb. Maybe I should read the instructions. All right. Facing outward. Not labeled is facing inward. Let's see. Sorry guys, we want to get it right. We want to put it together the way they tell you to put it together. So that way, if there's anything wrong with it, you'll be like, look man, I did it the way you said. Sticker, front is facing outward. It's facing outward. I don't know why they just couldn't send somebody to set this up for me anyways. Okay, we're going to go ahead with the same pattern. Top left. Both them lower, makes your front, front, front's facing toward the back of the chair, apparently. Sorry, man, I just put so much of this furniture stuff together in my life that. Oh. Okay, so that feels nice and steady. Probably put your little flap down now. Camouflage that a little bit. Spare parts, we got a spare parts container. We got four metal gaskets. Um, okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and get the, the back of our chair. This one here. I would, well, I guess I was going to recommend that, but that thing is going to irritate me. Okay, I'm going to need those four screws. Or at least two of them. This one here is going to be a little bit weird, guys. You're going to have to start at the top. And you get these worked in because you're going to need to bend it to fit. And remember, you want them to go in freely, don't force them in there. These are threaded. If you cross thread, you're going to be hating life. Thank you. 
was just going to do an unboxing, but <laughs> we're getting the whole shebang today. to go in and now I would do the same start with one corner and then go down to the bottom and then back up to the top dang I should have broke out the drill <laughs> I made this a lot zippier Now, they say that the max weight limit on this chair is 300 pounds. No. It's 400. Yeah. 400. There's two different, there's, there's conflicting information about this chair, to be completely honest with you. There's very conflicting information. Make sure all those are tight. See how freaking, see how bad that thing sucks? Whoa, that'll make you fall. Okay, so I'm assuming one side is. I don't even need to assume. This is the definite way it goes. So there's four of these. Okay. Figured that these were, were part of it. Okay, I'm assuming that these go because that's showing you to put them on the front of them. Yeah, okay. There's a there's a little picture up there that shows you that goes behind the goes behind the handle as a gasket. Mama says that. Phone's getting a little warm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's kind of annoying. Dog. So you can kind of just let the little thing hang on there, then kind of spin that till it goes into place. I like the other chair that I put together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stasis. Because mm -hmm. <sighs> the armrest moved. It moves? Up. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's two. Now 
Now these screws do have some some Loctite on them. Make sure annoying washer is <laughs> behind. Now I think this chair came to $180 after shipping. Because sadly you don't get free shipping on these. So it's like $30 shipping. Okay. And then if you need uh, instructions to tell you how to sit on the chair, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Stick in there. Oh, now this is a reclining chair, so it does recline, but it feels extremely weak. No back support whatsoever. It just rolls right back. Yeah, like if you want to lay back, there's no support whatsoever. You're just... The elevator works. But there is no support whatsoever. It's just easy climb. Easy peasy. So, thank you for watching Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and this is the Boston chair from Amazon.